And we're live, fantastic. So, howdy, I'm Matt, welcome to the channel. Uh, in this live episode, uh, we have uh, the unboxing of a Hobby King order, uh, and also in this box as well, we have a Mustang P51D as well. Now, I would like to stress right from the off, uh, is that these parts and this model was bought out of my own money so for and for my own uses uh, and abuses. Now, obviously from time to time we do get some bad kit and some bad models uh, and you may have seen this morning what happens to bad models and uh, what, what, what kind of happens to them, honey? They burn. They burn, <laughs> and they burn good. So if a model is not particularly good, it will end up in the cement mixer with some accelerant. Yes, mm. hot accelerant. Hot, hot accelerant. <laughs> uh, and that to, be able to turn into a small inferno. So hopefully we don't have to do that with this model or any of the parts which we've been and got here. Now H, just a quick check. Can we see a count in the top left-hand corner? Brilliant. So if you have been enjoying me live, uh, this is being recorded live. Uh, any questions or comments which you have as uh, as we go along with the live version, please just ask in the chat on the right hand side of your screen. Uh, and of course, if you're watching the recorded version, then the comment section is underneath this video. So with that said, let's get ourselves in now. I'm going to be brutal again. Uh, I will be honest with you, I've literally just been in this box and realised that I didn't set this video as being public, so I've just been and swapped that over. Uh, so I have literally just been in there, cut around the edges, uh, and we'll have a look at this Hobby King order. So let's go and have a quick nose. Now, H, these are parts to get the Twin Zoo, the Team Legit Twin Zoo, which you finished off laminating earlier, didn't you? I did. It's looking good. Took forever, but it's done. <laughs> it didn't, well, it wasn't particularly quick one. There's lots of awkward pieces. Uh, to get laminated on that one. Now, I desperately needed uh, some 30 amp ESCs. Hobby King have performed as always. Uh, Pass the Force, uh, next day delivery here in the United Kingdom. Normally they're here with us first thing in the morning, but unfortunately today, different delivery driver uh, and the ink comes to a little bit later, which is no big issue to be honest, because I was here busy working my boobies off uh, at the desk with the day-to-day -day job. Uh, now, with that said, let's get ourselves in here. Uh, good old packaging as per normal. We'll, we'll save those for the kids to stamp on. Uh, by the way, you know these bubbles, pouches, great if you've got kids, uh, and great if you're a big kid, because you can put them on the floor and jump on them. Brilliant fun. Uh, so, uh, yesterday I noticed I was on the train to Birmingham, uh, and I had the iPad in front of me, and I was getting put, I knew I needed some ESCs, and I had one wander around and bought quite a bit of other stuff as well while I was at it, to be honest. Uh, and... Uh, I, I thought, actually, while I'm at it, is these little motors, they are the SE2205 DYS motors. 2300 kV, absolutely fantastic motors. I typed SE2205 into the Hobby King website, and I couldn't believe it. Uh, they were half price or for $10, uh, and these are absolutely stonking motors. So I've bought a pair of these. Uh, they could go on maybe the twin, uh, the traveller plane on the uh, Team Legit uh, Twin Zoo when I burn out the other motors which I've got on there for the front of them. We've got to be realistic here, haven't we? Yes. Uh, yes, indeed. So I bought two for those either of those models. Uh, and then I was chatting to Andrew on Messenger at the same time. And it's, it, we were chatting about them, so I got two for Andrew. So Andrew, they have now been and turned up. I'll put them uh, on one side out there on the radiator. Uh, and then I bought a third one because chances are I'll burn one of those out. And uh, by the way, the reason why I'm going to likely to burn them out, I'm likely to put too big of a prop on it uh, and I run mine with four cells. Uh, and now, if you want to know how good these motors are, uh, we had a race very recently, or so about a month, maybe two months ago. Uh, it was a micro sky monitor, uh, diddy little thing like that. Uh, and I raced. Uh, a sky fund with a, like the motor is like three times as big uh, and we had a full on race both on 4S uh, and I made that sky fund sweat. I didn't beat it in an outline straight race but I really did make that sky fund uh, sweat. There is, uh, if you are on my YouTube channel, if you just type in race in the search box on the top right hand corner uh, is that you'll find that race and we even managed to touch each other in flight as well. So Helen, any questions which have come in just yet? Everybody just saying hi. So howdy, I'm just going to take a quick sip. And a few comments about the cement mixer burning. Yeah, did you enjoy that episode? It was um, <laughs> fun. Fun, 
Yes. Dangerous. <laughs> it took did a while to put out. Yeah, we had a couple of buckets to chuck <laughs> over it as well. And uh, we did do the after party that was recorded actually live on Facebook. So if you a shameless plug to the Facebook group, uh, we'll put a link to that in the video description afterwards. Uh, and there's literally a Facebook group. We've had 760 odd cool pilots just like me and you in there. Uh, and we did do a little live uh, bit afterwards as well. And the black gunk which came out was horrific. Uh, so anyway, that won't, we won't be setting fire to anything which we have here on my desk. Though I've been threatening to do the cement mixer for a very, very long time. Uh, and then uh, I saw Bruce's, uh, I'm sure you know, everybody know here, knows Sir Bruce from XJet and RC Model Reviews. He's almost there with his mini talon uh, and uh, Pulse Jet on the top. And I always use that as a marker. I need to get around to it, need to get around to it. And I thought this morning, screw it, we're going to go and set fire to it. Uh, and then we wheeled out the uh, cement mixer. And did you know that John, our builder, turned up earlier? He'd seen the video on Facebook, uh, which I sent him. Oh. Yeah. He laughed. It, does it still work? Did you test it? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, it just needs a bit of a scrape. Clean? Clean, yeah. Something like that. Anyway, uh, we were chatting about the Hobby King order. So, hat tip to... Oh, <laughs> we are really going to... Somebody you? said they missed the beginning because they were um, hand-washing their fireproof suit. Oh, okay. In case, obviously, you didn't well, have a fire. Safety was there. I had my safety glasses on, and I had my nice nylon top. And a can of petrol and a lighter. And oh. a firework. Well, we're going to go down. You might as well go down in flames, aren't you? Uh, anyway, let's get back ourselves back onto the topic. Big hat tip to Hobby King. Love the next day delivery. Literally ordered it on the train uh, up to Birmingham yesterday, and it's arrived here this afternoon, which I think is fantastic. So... Uh, some DYS motors, SE 2205, 2300 kV. These are the clockwise edition, uh, so the nut goes the wrong way round. Uh, so uh, what I will do is put some gold Sharpie pen on them so I know that if, when I ever look at them, I know that the thread is going the wrong way round. Uh, I know that might be a pain in the rear for some of you, uh, but in my instance, that's fine. These motors are really, really good. And for $10, which is like eight pounds, Absolute screaming bargain. Uh, you right there, H, by the way? Mm. Cool beans. If anybody mentioned something which you think is worthwhile, shout it out there in the background. I'm going to come back to that hat in a moment. Uh, we have two Corona 939 metal gear servos. Those are the 2.7 kilogram servos. Great little servos, standard size, about the same size as your common plastic gear. Uh, nine gram ones, you try to stick your hand. Somebody said, Hi, Matt, and the yeah. hand of God. <laughs> <laughs> Helen on camera, no, okay. no. Right, I've um, also been and grabbed, I'll open one of these up so you can see them. Again, I really do rate these. Uh, they have been pretty much flawless. I, I had one of these in a Wing Wing Z84, which got lost in a field. No, I was not the pilot at that point in time. Got lost in a field for six weeks. Uh, we farmer found it, it went through the combine harvester, and believe it or not, those blue 30 amp ESCs it still works to this day, uh, even after being in a field with no lid on it, with all the elements on it, uh, and it still works. I forget, actually, it's in the Eagle EPP model, which is up there at the moment. Uh, so I've been, do I even want to know? Somebody wants to know if I've had a go at flying. Uh, no, and... Um, You've had a go with the similar. Somebody though. said if I was the hand of God, I'd be able to stop you buying planes. Are you encouraging me? You keep telling me, go, Matt, go on, buy another one, buy another one. No, you know I... You need another one. No, I don't. Yeah, you're, you're my nemesis. Should I read a comment? Yeah, and the audio is very low. Yeah, the audio will be very, very low. We are, uh, obviously, because H is stood right behind the uh, iPad, and I'm stood three or four feet away from it as well. So we've been got some uh, 30 amp ESCs, desperately needed those, so we can finish off the Twin Zoo build, uh, which will be today. Remember, we are gonna be live from the flight line tomorrow morning. We will be catching up with a couple of maidens. One of those is the Team Legit Twin Zoo. Uh, so I desperately needed those so we can get the model out of the way. Uh, H, can you pass me the twin zoo, if you're so kind? Uh, red propellers. Now, I bought these especially just for, for um, vanity, to be honest. Uh, these are, so there's the Team Legit twin zoo, uh, and I've been and bought some red propellers to go along with the red model. I'm, I'm colour corner coordinated, put it that way. So that's the reason why I got those. Just carefully move that one out of the way. 
What else have we got in here? Oh, I got a load of slow fly props. Again, those of you which joined me live from the flight line last Sunday, uh, the Hobby King reactor, which I've got down there. I went through so many propellers, or well, I went through uh, five of them, uh, and I've been and picked up some gem fan uh, nine by four seven propellers. They were really cheap, just a couple of dollars each, and I bought ten of those because, uh, as I found out, I will go uh, through five propellers in a single flyer session. Also, I have. Uh, oh, I know what that is. Uh, the EFS EFX extra EF extra. Uh, I bent the main shaft and uh, nose when I planted it in a short while ago. I trimmed it. Actually, I used the motor as a lathe uh, to straighten it back out, which is not advisable for anybody to do. Uh, but that's what I did to mine to straighten it out. Uh, I did get a replacement. I've got a new nose cone coming as well. And also the uh, one of my little gripes about Hobby King for quite a period of time is the EF extra. Was released but you couldn't get the uh, 7x6.5 propellers anywhere literally anywhere in the world uh, and finally they've been to come out so we've got two packs of those on the way to me as well obviously coming from uh, Hong Kong China so uh, they will be built they'll be with me in a couple of weeks time I'm sure uh, and the last thing well last but one thing which I bought and I finally bought with you so Andrew I've been and got myself a pair uh, is a pair of Z Benz uh, pliers Landed. Looks like there's nothing quite like doing this live. Uh, I've been and bought myself a pair of Z bend pliers uh, so we can make our own little control horn linkages just using some piano wire here, which I'm going to go on and buy off eBay, uh, which I think I've actually already been and bought off eBay, and that'll be with me in a couple of days' time. So that uh, saves me buying, and again, trying to get the uh, control horns, sorry, the push rods with the bends in them, they are kind of expensive, whereas piano wire dirt cheap and these were a couple of quid so happy days on that uh, and then I thought last night I would finally do my part and I thought it'd be pretty cool to have on the flight line cheesy I know cheesy I know and uh, let's unpack that one uh, I went and bought myself a Hobby King ah cool mm. bending it round so we're cool saved your head burning saved my head burning because it was really sunny on Sunday wasn't it really really nice day so uh, I've been and bought myself a Hobby King hat doesn't look particularly adjustable but fits nicely there we go I thought that was pretty cool so I'm going to stick that back in the box uh, and get that out of the way I think it was seven quid you know right on to the next one is this is the Mustang P51D now I'm sure many of you are absolute aviation enthusiasts and to me it just kind of looked pretty uh, and when we were chatting about it in the Facebook group, it turned out a couple of other different people have been bought this model before and had it in the past from other sources. Uh, and it, general comments were good. Uh, I think it cost forty, maybe fifty dollars. So not like a big. Well, no, I don't even think it's only about forty dollars to be honest. So not particularly expensive. Uh, but they, they were mixed. Well, they were generally positive. There was a few little caveats, like people have uh, mentioned about uh, on the ailerons. You, on both sides you angle them up both uh, to, to help with the tip stalls uh, and then we had a good old chit, chit chat about motors and things like that. This, this model's been around for quite a long period of time uh, and it's quite small which for me which means that it can stack on the shelf quite easily and I can see my partner there looking around. Anyway let's go and get her open. So it was cheap and apparently not bad was I think was the general summary and we'll find out first hand again I can doubt that she'll be ready uh, for us tomorrow for the flight line fun. Uh, but let's get in there and see what it's like. Uh, any questions on that one so far, H? Um, somebody said about you shouldn't have to pay for shipping on your hat. Seems like you're advertising for them. <laughs> that is true. I, I think I paid, uh, it said in the checkout, £5.20 for next day delivery. Um, which is whatever in the USD. So, and of course, there's always a price difference when you end up paying by PayPal or whatever your payment means uh, is. Oh, and a massive actual big tip for you. Uh, I have very rarely had issues with um, Banggood uh, and Hobby King at all, but just from my consumer point of view, always use PayPal. Because remember, uh, you then have that third party you can go back to if there is a problem. Uh, you can always go back to PayPal and uh, get in contact with them uh, and they will help you with the dispute, dispute process. But obviously that is in the very rare instances. All right, so, cool beans. Anything else there, H? 
Brad says hi. <laughs> Howdy, Brad. Thank you for joining us. A good morning. I know you're based over in the uh, United States, and um, I'm just now getting in the box. It is a little ditty one, uh, to say the least. Let's get this stuff out of the way and get it filed. Um, first impressions, I kind of like the paint job, to be honest. I'll just get that out of the way as well, and heavy box. It is a triple skinned box, so those of you thinking it might get a bit damaged uh, in the transit, that is a triple wall box, so not bad at all. There's some other stuff in there on the side, which I missed. Brilliant. So I'm just going to quickly just jam this together so we get an idea uh, of what it looks like. Obviously, I'm going to go on and spend a little bit more time than, than I'm doing right now, because I just want to show you kind of what it looks like. Now, it doesn't come with a motor. I'm not that bothered about the motor. Oh, it comes with a manual. I'm not really interested. Uh, and some control horns and some push rods uh, in another bag. Thank you, Poppet. Uh, we do have, in fact, I'll tell you what, let me see if I can get it together quickly so we can have a quick nose. Pop that in there. We get a nose cone, that's a nice job. Uh, and we get an elevator thin, which I'm not brave enough to stuff that in on here because let's face it, it'll probably end up in uh, multiple parts if I try ramming that in there. But there you go. That's what she looks like. I thought it was pretty cool. What was that? Forty dollars. Obviously, we need to add a motor to the nose. Now, uh, looking up in the nose, we do have, uh, a, I assume, a plywood firewall in there. Uh, it does look like we can fit a decent-sized motor in there, so she will be um, rather uh, rah rah fast. Uh, no idea on which motor I'm going to put in there at the moment. I do have quite a good selection of motors available to me. Uh, it does look pretty cool. Oh, I've just not pushed that down far enough. Keith says you're not listening to your wife. I'm not listening to my wife. You haven't said it. Because you have another plane. Oh, okay. I thought you were plane, honey. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Yeah. Good girl. What else do we get in the accessories bag? You get a four-blade prop. That's pretty cool. A couple of other bits and bobs. Some glue. Probably won't be using their glue. Uh, no. Uh, end up using goop glue. It looks like... Uh, it is an EPS foam, I would assume, because the uh, cells uh, in the foam are so, so small. Uh, oh, that's a nice touch. They've, you've actually got hinges on the rudder thing. That's a nice touch. And what about the ailerons as well? The ailerons have not come pre-cut. You've got the lines there to cut them out if you so wish. Uh, apparently it does come with a stand as well, but I'm not really one to sit here and look at models, so... To get stuffed on the shelf you know does look kind of pretty um, obviously we need a motor to go in there as well uh, just let me have a quick look at that rudder area uh, we do have some flex in there so we can get that elevator fin in there kind of straightforward a nice little quad blade well sorry four blade propeller uh, to go on the front of it uh, and that's it I'm kind of impressed so far obviously as we all know we always hold off final judgment until we get a model in the sky. So this is the unboxing of the Mustang P51D. No idea at all how it's gonna fly. Fingers crossed, it's gonna be fantastic. If it's crack, mm, you kind of know where it's gonna go. Henrik, Henrik says, when that wall breaks, yeah. what are you gonna to use to make cement? <laughs> that wall isn't going anywhere. My office is, uh, uh, for best all intents and purposes, a nuclear bunker, and there's that wall won't go anywhere because there's another wall down the back of it. So the cement mix is fine. We'll just wire brush it off. Get a stick of can of primer on it. Maybe two cans of primer on it. Another can of can or two of top coat. It's a cement mix, you know. You stick great big lumps of rubble in it and chuck shovel loads of crap in it and pour it out, you know, it's a cement mixer, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, and then actually Granny took a comment earlier and uh, set fire to the wheelbarrow, good girl. And she just looked at me and said, you set fire to a cement mixer, so I'm setting fire to a wheelbarrow. Hey ho. So on that note, time for me to wrap up. Mustang P51D, no idea what it's going to be like in the sky uh, after the live version has been finished. Uh, I will uh, put the links and the details in there. Remember all of these parts which you have been and seen. Uh, I did buy out of my own money for my own abuses. We will find out if there are any good or not very, very shortly, I'm sure. Now, this one's just been and turned up. I do have two other models over there which I need to finish. 
uh, so that we can get them live out on the flight line for tomorrow. Uh, the chances of this one being finished uh, for tomorrow are extremely, extremely slim. Uh, but I will keep you updated in the RC Coffee Chats and of course, like I said back at the beginning, if you have any questions or comments about the models or the motors or the servos or the hat uh, or anything else which has been up and turned up here today, please just ask and remember these were bought out of my own money for my own abuses. And on that note, it's time for us to go. So for myself, Matt, and I need to get over there and press the wall. Hey, you can hit the finish button this time. And the hand of God, she is here in the background moderating the comments as they come up there in the background. From both of us, thank you ever so much for watching and we'll see you again shortly. Cheerios! Bye!